Hi my friends, in this video we are going to talk about regular, static and class methods. A class method is a method that is relevant to a class rather than its object. It doesn't require creation of a class instance, much like static method. The difference between a static method and a class method is, static method knows nothing about the class and they just deals with the parameters. As we examined in the, our first video, regular methods take the instance itself as the first parameter. Before moving on to our example, I would like to define another class variable as we learned in the previous video and then I can explain the class method better. So I'm going to write the tagline of the Chevy company. I think it was find new rods. And uh, you know that we can access the tagline over the uh, over the class. So we can just write the variable name and print it. Okay, we access the tagline. As I said, the difference of class methods from regular methods is that they take the class is the first parameter instead of instance and they allow us to make changes on the class not on the instance this is the main difference and now the question is how do we define a class method we are going to use class method decorator i'm just going to show you we just write class method and they just under the decorator we will write a method. So let's write new tagline. What we say is that the first parameter we wrote to class methods now represents the class itself, not the instance. This is the main difference. So keep that in your mind. So let's write a parameter. You know, as a parameter, we can write anything. We already learned that. You can write anything, you can write your name, you can just write name. It is totally up to you. But uh, the common usage is we write CLS, which is short version of class. The from now on, we can make changes related to this class through CLS. For example, we can update the, uh, the tagline using this method. I don't know, we can do everything related to this class. I'm going to update the tagline using this class. So let's take one more parameter here and uh, let's write new tagline. And the CLS represents the class. So we can use CLS.tagline it will be equal to new tagline. That's great. I'm going to change the parameter name here. It may confuse us. So just write new tagline without underscore. By the way, there is no limit at passing parameters. And I mean, you can write A, B, C, D. You can send as many as parameters you want. So I continue, we can update our tagline using this class. So let's see that. First I am going to print before change it and then I'm going to change it and then write it. So let's find a new tagline, I don't know, go to moon and uh, I'm going to print it again, that tagline. So let's run it. Okay, look at the terminal. We have update this tagline using this, sorry, this method. By the way, I want to emphasize that what we are doing in the class method here, and that there is no difference between doing something like that. Card tagline equal to go to, sorry, go to moon. There is no difference between doing that or doing that. However, we have a more regular and understandable code inside the class. 
in the other way we write here is a more amateur and a difficult to understand way we learn the logic of object-oriented programming to write more smooth and a controllable code now if we continue let's try to do a few more examples together this class can be also used by other units so i mean for example let's say we are a big factory and the some team is producing camaro and the some team is producing impala okay let's say there are some deficiencies in the camera producing unit and then it sends the parameters in the dictionary format when creating this instance i mean an instance from this class so it sends in a format like that let me show you i don't know car tree let's say car tree and the car model okay so some unit sends the data in this way we don't know there are some problems we don't know the scenario here we are just trying to learn something here you know the data we expect is not like that so we need to find a solution for this problem using the class method i mean we need to accept this kind of data and extract information extract value from it and then we need and the, we need to allow the client to create an instance from this class so to do that we can use the class method again so i'm going to use one more class method so let's say class method and then i'm going to write another method let's say extract data from dict the first parameter is class itself and the second parameter will be this one so let's say car object now let's extract brand model and the color from the car object so all we need to do is we just write car object and, and the, the key of the value that we want so we can just write model we extract the data from the car object now there is one last thing left to do we need to call the class itself again because we are going to create an instance from it so we just write model color and kilobytes and the last step we need to return it if i run it right now i will get an error because i forgot a thing i didn't call this method so let's call this method extract data from dict and then that's it and i clean my editor i'm going to print the car tree let's run it we got the result without any problem i think it is a nice example to understand the class method we can understand how to deal different data types using class methods and i'm sure you will be using it a lot in the future with your with your huge projects actually the process has a name which is alternative constructor so keep that in your mind now it's time to talk about static methods as we said regular methods take the instance itself as the first parameter class methods take the class itself as the first parameter but static methods take nothing as the parameter automatically in other words it works completely independently we can say that the operations we want are used to make calculations for example we can write the method we calculate horsepower here for example we can write the method we calculate horsepower here as a static method and then we can use this method to calculate horsepower without creating any instance elsewhere in our application
let's see what I mean to define a static method we need static method decorator and then we can just write calculate horsepower and as a parameter I'm going to pass kilowatts as I said the, fir the first parameter doesn't represent neither the class nor the uh, instance all we need to do is just to return the calculated value so we can just write return kilobyte multiply with car dot what, what was the name to calculate HP and that, that's it from now on we can use this method wherever we want without creating an instance now we can call this this method inside the calculate horsepower uh, method actually we can remove it but it is kind of a special method because it takes this self parameter here so it may be good way to keep that actually it is up to you totally you can remove it or you can keep it it depends on the need of your project so I'm just going to call this static method inside the regular method so let's do that I just call this method but but I need to use the class name here to call this static method and then all I need to do is to pass the kilowatts I save it and let's say calculate horsepower I got the same result the other thing I want to show is let's suppose we have other applications and uh, we need to calculate horsepower there we can use the calculate horsepower method the static method instead of writing the same code over and over so let me show you quickly I'm going to create another file let's say example.py I am going to import this class inside this file so let's say from oop3 it is the it is the file name and the import car let's say we have lots of codes here and uh, we do some calculations and then uh, we need to calculate the horsepower again we can just import it and uh, use this static method because as I said we don't need an instance to use this method it just expects kilobytes and it returns the horsepower so let's see what I mean we have some example here car 15 and uh, we need to calculate the horsepower of it so all I need to do is just write car dot calculate horsepower this is static method don't mix it with the calculate uh, underscore horsepower the, the static method has no underscore within the name so I call this method and uh, it expects kilowatts so let's say I don't know 100 and uh, if I print it I got the same result or I can change it let's write 15 look I got the result I didn't need to write the calculators power methods again I will end the video here I hope you liked it thanks for watching see you in the next video